Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Bannerlord. I just rambled for like a half an hour and I meant to ramble for like five minutes. How many times, guys, did I just say, let's just play the game? Where we last left off, we were just doing a bunch of trading. We had just hired Gut Rag Frostbeard, which is still not a very dignified name, but uh, I'm not complaining. We got a scout out of it. This guy is our is our clan scout. He's the, the first guy we've ever hired to the clan. Either that, it's, it's barely a clan. It really is just, we're a merchant. Uh, I think you said it at least five times. That sounds a bit right. Uh, his, his scouting is 80. Yeah, his scouting is 80, which is pretty nice. He's generous, daring, and merciful, which I like. We, we hired a real hero here. He's a moral dude, you know? All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I... Still want to sell some of these Campbells at some point, maybe. As much as I love the inventory capacity, we got these camels at like 26 gold a piece. If we ever run into a place where we can sell camels at a really good price, we could probably sell the camels, buy some mules to make up for, and still come out of it with a profit. And that's, uh, that's tempting. Still need armor, maybe? We do. Uh, I love that my head armor has ripped my beard off. If I take that off, I have a full beard. That's just a visual glitch. Did that? Oh, it moves my horse, too. For a second, I thought it re-equipped my horse. I still need a cloak, gloves, basically not wearing armor. And considering in tournaments, you wear your, you bring your own armor. You don't bring your own weapons, but you bring your own armor, at least at this point in the game. Uh, the prospect of entering a tournament right now is dangerous. We just won one, and we got the early retirement. This cool-ass sword. Um, but, you, you know, it's still a little dangerous not having any armor, so... Right now, we need to make a little bit of money. We have nothing that we are particularly looking to sell, and the money we have right now is good but not great. We need to do a little bit more trading, and I want to hire more companions. How many can we have right now? Three? We can have three companions. So one of the other ones I wanted was uh, the healer, right? So she was female. I remember that. Wanderer female. It was Willowbark here. She's still up in Sabir. So we need to get to Sabir... Which is not horrifically far away, but it's in the snow in the mountains, and snow slows you down, and there's usually tough enemies up there. We need to get up to her. We'll need about a thousand dinars to hire her, and we need enough left over to still make really good money off trading. Uh, so we're going to need to trade a little bit more on our way up there. What's the next place up here? Mysia. This is what? Southern Empire? So I think it was Southern Imp... No. It's either Southern or Western Empire is the one where it's run by, like, a war hero. And they believe that the Emperor should be picked by, uh... They believe that the Emperor, uh, the Emperor should be picked by the veterans. And then I think it's West Empire is the only child of the previous king or emperor. Which, she's a female, so some consider her illegitimate for that. And the North Empire is all the senators, and they think the senators should pick the leader. So they're kind of a republic, I guess, because they have a senate. All right. What do they sell at a good price here? Is it anything? They sell fish at a pretty good price, and we could buy a lot of fish. That seems like an easy thing to make a profit off of. Wine wouldn't be bad either, actually. Buying wine at 39? But well, they're selling a lot of stuff at a good price, actually. All right, I'll do the wine. Wine is a common trade, good for people to want. We'll do wine and fish, because they have the best prices that I'm seeing here. Okay. Wine and fish. I'm happy with that. We'll consume a little bit of on our a uh, little bit of it on our way, which will decrease the profit a little, but whatever. If we're making a decent profit, that shouldn't matter much. Hope we got to return that one woman who I believe was the first person you encountered that you could hire. Oh yeah, we, we might bump into her again. Okay, uh, that is not really a profit. And that is barely a profit. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell elsewhere. Next one is up here. Makes sense. The, the towns are pretty close to each other, so caravans probably go between them fairly often. You have no trips? Yep, just us and our companion right now. We're a merchant at the moment. 
Uh, it's under siege. Okay. We'll just go to the next one then. But we will go talk to this noble because it gets us progress on a quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about uh, the, the folly thing. Some people call the Great Battle of Pandaric in the year 1077. Then armies accompanied by the, the Khanites. The guys who become the Khanites. Ezra, I think is how you pronounce that. Okay. It was the Dester form. He died in it, yeah. Victors didn't fare much better. So it was a bit of a... It was a bit of a uh, Pyrrhic victory, I guess. Jesus. Yeah, you lost a lot of family in that. Never the richest of the clans. Yeah, she's from the Khanite. Yeah, this person actually seems to be pretty important to them. There's actually a good amount of story here. Hmm. Okay, we learned more about it. And that's good, because you need to talk to like 10 different nobles to learn more about it, I think. Yeah, you're supposed to get in-depth stuff from like 10 nobles. Okay, so I guess if we're going up to Sabir, this really is next? Or, well, we could easily get over to Makeb pretty fast, which I believe was actually a city in Warband. It's funny because this is supposed to be 200 years before Warband, and these are supposed to be the countries that created, that became the countries in Warband. And yet the landscape looks really different than me uh, to me. But there's a few of the same cities. Trying to get a caravan as much as possible, as fast as possible. Yeah, I've heard it's very strong. Okay, this wine sells at a better price here, but it's still not great. Yet still, neither of these are selling at a great price. Is there a bridge up here? Yeah, okay. And are the bridges up here? Yes, okay, I wouldn't mind going this way then. I do need to be careful because I think horse bandits might be in this territory in the Far East. And I remember them being horrible in Warband to deal with. So I got to keep an eye out just because they're very fast. So our speed advantage doesn't help so much. Okay, we look, we got to make a profit before we just... Yeah, we got to make a profit before we just end up drinking all of this. Just sell it. It's a small profit. Very small profit. We gained a point of trade, which is nice. Horse bandits are OP in this. The archers are amazing. Yeah, they are pretty strong. Ranged combat in general is strong in this so far. Okay, uh, I could buy cheese at a pretty good price. That might be some easy profit. Meat's a good price. What are they selling hardwood for? Bad price. Iron ore is an amazing price. Wow. I might actually make more money buying some iron ore here at this dirt cheap price. Buying some hardwood in a cheap place. And then, uh... If we could get a little bit of hardwood. Villagers, maybe they're selling. If I could get a little bit of hardwood, then I can make some charcoal, get a whole bunch of smithing skill, get some easy level ups, and then sell the wrought iron for a profit. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're not selling anything to me. So next place is Tyal. Okay. We're going up into some dangerous territory. I'll hit up these villagers on my way. Step bandits. They've got a horse. Don't like that. Okay, looters are still on foot. Okay, going to market two, what are you selling? 11 pack camel for 16 apiece. Oh my god, that's dirt cheap. I'm taking that. That's even cheaper than the previous ones we got. We have so many camels. Wow. Sturgia? Yeah, that is a good area for wood. Cow. Sheep. Cheap. Yeah, okay, keep moving. I'll stop off at this village, though. Just because it's right in the way. Are they selling anything I want at a good price? The cows are cheap. The butter and the milk are cheap. The grain is pretty cheap. But they're probably already selling... They're probably already attached to this town, and so... I'm not really expecting the best prices if I were to just sell it here. I don't like how little money I'm making while coming up here. 
Uh, hardwood price here is not great still. It's not expensive, but it's not great. But I need to make a profit, so I'm going to buy this. So here's what we're going to do. If we enter the smithy, uh, we can smelt the old sword, but I don't really want to because I think I might still use that. Like how mounts give you more inventory? I agree. It's like pack animals. So, you can see we can use all of our guys here. We have smithy stamina, which goes back up as you rest in town or rest wherever you camp, basically. Uh, and so this is one of the reasons why having a lot of companions is really nice. Let's get a whole bunch of experience by turning hardwood into charcoal. You can see in the bottom left, we are getting skill points like crazy doing this. There we go. We just gained a ton of skill points for doing something pretty easy. We are one skill point away from a focus point now. Getting those early few levels is nice. Okay, crude iron sells for almost nothing here. So I'm not going to sell that straight to them. They're not selling any more hardwood. If I were to turn some of this into wrought iron, I can probably sell at a better price. We're pretty low on cash right now, though. Mm, come on. Do they not sell any hardwood up here? Are you kidding me? Come on. Oh, there we go. Hardwood. Okay, so beer should have a supply of hardwood from Ale Bat. We can make some money while we're there through that through smithing then. As long as it's got a decent price for that, we can we can get by. I should be checking all the villagers. I gotta get in that habit. The villagers and the villages. The butter price is amazing, but it's one thing of butter. There's a caravan. I don't... Do I have any reason to bump uh, into a caravan? I think they can sell straight to me sometimes. I'll try. If I can catch up to them, they're so fast. I like how you keep following around the armies for protection. Uh, I haven't been doing that. At least not intentionally. I just walk around the enemies because I'm faster. Subbed for five people, including myself. NDB needs them. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't need the subs. Uh, keep your money. There's a plague going on, and I want you guys to be okay. But if you really want to, then I appreciate it. Just don't feel the need. Um, What's the news of the markets? Bought some fur at Tayal, selling it in Revel for 109. That's not bad. Are you willing to sell me the fur? Not as good of a price. The tool is one tool. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really need to trade with them. Oh, villagers. What do you have? 13 pack camel for 25 apiece? That is also an awesome... Um, I almost said surrender or die. I don't want to do that. That is a good price, but, uh, money's low. Okay. These are still... It shows a shield there once in a while when I hover over that. It's weird. Hardwood is not a great price here. So can I just go straight to the source and get it better? Maybe. Nope. <laughs> it's even more expensive at the source. Wow. Man, I had such a good trading day yesterday, and then today I'm just not getting as lucky. Ah, same price. Okay. Okay. Mmm. 15. Hernandez gains a level. Yay! <laughs> And with the, uh, ooh, we got a focus point and an attribute point. The focus point, smithing! Because we're going to start making some real money off this. So that will speed up our learning of it, which we very much need. Doing some city quests. Yeah, they are nice. Some of them are nice. Has he made a caravan yet? No, not yet. We're very early game right now. He's doing a little bit of er early merchant shit. Ooh. But yeah, you don't actually make great money off that. Like last episode in the first 30 minutes, I think we made like 4,000 money total just by doing a little bit of trading between like three cities.
So. All right. Uh, for my attribute point, though, endurance is tempting because endurance is riding and smithing, and I care a lot about both of those. So getting both faster would be very nice. I also wouldn't... Uh, intellect, I really only need for stewardship, though. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind social. Social's always good. I wouldn't mind control. I'm going to go endurance. Because the smithing and the riding are both so good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Trying to make some wrought iron early. And he's out of energy? Yeah. Then my other guy can do it here. Now, Frostbeard here, what's his cap for this? His cap is fairly low, 20. We might want to raise that at some point. Just so that he can get to 25 and learn how to more efficiently make stuff. Because that'll help. But he needs skill points in general anyway, so... It's important. There we go. Wood is the, always the thing you're going to need the most of. How close is he to a level? Not very, right? Because he's level 14. So he needs a lot of skill points. Still, it helps. Be aware it takes 1,500... Yeah, I already know. I already know all the details on it. We've talked about it in the series and everything. Do I stream here and not YouTube as well? I suspect you get more views there. Um, because you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Think about it this way. Every YouTuber you've ever watched has probably told you about... Not every, literally. But many have probably told you about how worried they always are about uh, their channel just getting nuked from orbit because YouTube algorithm changes or a bot goes haywire and deletes a channel. Terrifying shit like that. That is why you don't put all your eggs in one basket. If YouTube gets nuked from orbit and it takes me two weeks to get my channel back because of some rogue bot, then Twitch is my outlet, you know, and vice versa. Uh, if if I were streaming on, uh, if I were doing all my stuff on Twitch, which I guess you can't really, uh, not with my YouTube stuff, but if that was my focus, it'd be really bad for if that went down and Twitch bans people all the time for no reason, so... What if both get nuked? Well, that's why you don't put all your eggs in one basket, because the chance of both getting nuked is exponentially lower than one getting nuked. The chance of both getting nuked just arbitrarily, like, it basically doesn't happen. Because the rareness of both getting arbitrarily nuked, like, either one getting arbitrarily nuked is very unlikely. So, you know, be safe. And yeah, I'd get more viewers if I did it on YouTube. My premieres get, like, five, uh, yeah... Uh, three to nine thousand live viewers, depending on the challenge. Whereas my streams get like a hundred and fifty viewers, but it's not really about uh, it's not really a popularity contest, you know. I'm just having fun. Anyway, uh, is that healing companion still in the city? I hope, but we don't have the money for. Her. We gotta sell stuff. Yeah, we can make a profit off the wrought iron, but the uh, the sale price here is terrible. I just need more hardwood, honestly, to make more money off this. What we got to do is find a place where we can sell the wrought iron at a better price. There's a lot of places where we can sell it at a better price, in fact. Basically everywhere but here. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, this place is really close. We'll just go down here and see if the price is better. I probably should have been a little bit more hardcore about my trade goods, but I really want my companions. Nope, wrought iron is dirt cheap here. That's a shame. And wood's expensive. That's like the opposite of what I want. Yeah. You could use smithing to make that to normal iron. I do not have enough smithing skill to make normal iron. See? If I uh, go to smithy, refining... Charcoal, cr uh, crude iron, wrought iron. Oh, and then an iron and a crude iron. Never mind. I misread that. I'm dumb. Don't listen to me. Listen to Taco Man. Uh, yeah, I could make that into full iron then. Mm. I need more charcoal though. Charcoal's so expensive. 
because we got to get hardwood and the hardwood prices are fucking terrible. Well, the price was better up here. We have almost no money. Hmm. Well, what's the value of iron here? Because that could get the ball rolling. Oh, I really want to fight those sea raiders, but one javelin and I'm down. Hmm. Do they even have straight iron? Because they might be willing to buy it for a high amount if they have none. They have ore. They don't have anything refined. They don't. Why are they willing to buy wrought iron at such a bad price if they have no wrought iron on the market? That's weird. Hmm. Probably balance reasons. See what the carpenter wants? Yeah, it might be quick cash. That's a good point. I just want anything that adds criminality. Needs help with sea raiders. Yeah, that's not fucking happening. Um, out of curiosity, skull breakers here. Okay, the person we wanted moved. She is now in Tayal, which is out east, right? Yeah, we must have passed her. Um, I could sell pack animals. We do have too many. I wouldn't be making much a profit, much of a profit selling these here, though. A little. A little. Maybe they don't have the people to make wrought iron into proper iron. I could understand if why that would work on the market. I could also see it not being programmed to be like that. Hmm, that's interesting. I hate that the trade screen is the one screen you can't fully see things on. There's nowhere that I could put myself that, like, wouldn't block anything. It's unfortunate. I could sell one leather elsewhere and make some quick cash. Ugh. Yeah, and I need my horses. The horses are pretty important because they they speed up the army later. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of the optimal way to do this, you know? Money can definitely be made. I just got to figure out the best way to do it. I wouldn't mind more hardwood. More than anything, I just want to buy one more hardwood. Turn into charcoal, turn it into iron and crude iron. Yeah. And what is that worth? Straight iron is still at a bad price here, but it's a lot better than the wrought iron. I could use the iron money to fund the hardwood to make more iron. Or I could sell it elsewhere and make more money. Mysia will buy it for much more. Is that close? No. <laughs> Ew. This is brutal. It's worth even less if I go down here. Do I know what it's worth in Tyal? I don't know what it's worth in Tyal. But I think Tyal was selling the ore for cheap, so it's probably going to be less worth less there in general. All the good prices for this are not where I am. Wood hammers are great for smelting because they make three hard wood for one charcoal. Yeah. Hmm. Is this place using stone tools? I know, right? They have tools. It's like, what the hell is it made of? Would I ever consider doing Jedi Fallen Order? Uh... It doesn't really seem like my kind of game. You know what? I could actually sell grain at a good price for some reason, but it still wouldn't be much. Huh. Weird that grain is worth something here. Uh. Oh, that's a discard menu. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Right, because I'm on the map here. What I should have done is go here. Yeah, it's still worth actually a decent amount. I can make 30 bucks. Not worth it. Uh, we're at a weird point right now. We had a strong opening. But right now, we just need to make a little bit more money. Okay. Let's work our way back east again. Any quests I want. Family feud. I don't know what that is. Once his daughter found, that's probably a kidnapping one. Deliver a herd is literally just travel. To Makeb. Isn't that in a really dangerous spot, though. Not horrific, actually. Considering you don't need to return to get your, uh... To get your... 
Your prize? This is not a bad idea. Yeah, you have a problem you can help with? He wants me to deliver 10 cows to Makeb? I can do that. Yeah, we've got to take it to Akaden the Appraiser. 10 cows, I'll personally deliver that. And we got a peasant in the process, which I don't want. Because he is slowing down my party. By a lot. So I'm going to immediately fire this man. I do not want him. He, he slows down my party a lot. And I wouldn't be able to get away from bandits so easily if that were to happen. I like that when you take a quest and it has a city involved, it automatically marks it off as a city of interest. So that's easier to find on the map. Alright, let's go make some money finally. Six looters? I would do that if we're not in mountains in the winter. Because I did give a bow to my ally and a horse. And although he's not much of a horseman, he is a decent archer. Uh, is it going to go down this way? Good. I didn't want him to go down that way with the looters. Ooh. There we go. We're good. Just had to go around those looters. Next time I find, like, five of them. Like, here we go. There's four of them here. I'll just show you how this goes. Because I'm probably not going to lose, but I am still wearing basically no armor either than weak head armor. So there's a chance I could just get hit by a stray rock and get knocked out. Hey, you're already firing? Can you see them? Where are they? There they are. Now, if I tell him to charge, he's going to start circling. Or is it she? I don't even remember. He. Yeah. Go rig Frostbeard. Oh, he's already killed someone. Wow. Nice. All right. I just wanted to circle them. I'm surprised none of them are throwing rocks right now. Nah. Family Feud is just rambling with a few peasants for cash. Oh, that seems easy. I'm guessing you piss someone off, though, doing it. Don't like doing this in a forest, because you can get knocked up on a tree, and they can catch up to you. But they're still just looters. Not very dangerous. Alright. Tiny bit of morale and renown. And we can take the axe apart, which will be worth it. We'll get some uh, iron out of that, which is very much worth it. Weapons, I find, are often... If you have a, a passable smith, it's better to smelt weapons that you were going to sell. Okay, Akaden the Appraiser. Missing daughter is the same, but with less people to kill if you fail. The same as what, specifically? Bet the task he gave me. Here's your herd of 10 cows. We got 400 bucks. You know what? Not bad. I love that beat a quest noise. There we go, 400 bucks. That was enough to uh, get things rolling again. And that, that little axe we found, we'll just smelt that down. Not enough energy to smelt either, okay. Or do we need coal to smelt? I actually don't remember that. Yes, you need a charcoal to smelt, right. And the... Oh, value of iron here is higher. Nice. I think that's higher. No, was it 80, the last one? I don't remember. The price still isn't great because it's green. Yeah. Yeah, these are kind of cheap prices. The hardwood is at a great value, though. I gotta say that. God, this system is weird. Buy that. There we go. Got a little charcoal. And we're going to wait some time here. Because we need to get our smithing energy back a little. How many companions do you intend to have around two or three streams from now? I want to try to always have full. Companions are great and you want to get leveling them early. Okay. Now we can enter the smithy. Smelt down this to get some iron. Not bad. I think it's wrought iron is the lighter colored one. Wrought iron, yeah. And a crude iron and a hardwood. It's worth it. 
And we got a new smithing part. Usually you get you can get it from smelting things or from forging weapons. It unlocks like these things, you know, randomly. Which is good, because that takes forever to do. You gotta smelt a lot of shit to do that and forge a lot of shit. So anytime you can fill those out is good. Okay. We are getting so much skill so fast. It's great. This song is totally in the guild, by the way. You can tell just by listening to it, it's totally a song that's in the guild. It is so weird to me. <laughs> right, I can sell those uh, cloth clothing. It's worth almost nothing. This on Steam? Hell yeah, it is. It's awesome. It's just like the old Mountain Blade games, but even better. Okay. That's as much iron as we can do right now. We're we're almost at 25 uh, in smithing, which we really want to get to, because that's efficient charcoal making. Efficient charcoal maker and efficient iron making. You get to pick between them, but generally you want a companion that can do like one of each. You know, you want two really good smiths so that you can get the efficient things for everything. Um, I'm definitely taking charcoal maker first because at least with the balance of it right now, efficient iron maker is you can produce, a character can produce crude iron more efficiently by attaining three units of crude iron from one unit of iron ore. Normally you'd make two. That's pretty good. Efficient charcoal maker is you can use three, um, you can produce three charcoal from two hardwood it says here. And that is, that's just better. Like, the charcoal, you need so much charcoal that that is just more important. Just saying it since you were getting toast and bacon. What? If you're the Lord, you can also just say stop arguing and pay your fucking debt. Oh, this must be in relation to the family feud quest. That's probably what they're talking about. That sounds like a quest line to me. Yeah. Just watch your finish, finish your let's play through the amazing Spider-Man eight years ago. I left for 10 minutes afterwards. I'm happy you liked it. I don't even remember what that video was like. I very vaguely remember making that eight years ago. It's just like me and my friends when I'm like a teenager just goofing off on YouTube. All right, I can, I can actually make some good money off this iron now. I think I'm just gonna straight sell the iron. Yeah. And that's why you do smithing. It's not as fast and it's not as easy to make money off of as straight trading. But you get a lot of level ups out of it. And man, who doesn't want level ups, you know? Thanks for all the follows and the subs and stuff, by the way, everybody. I'm surprised so many people care and want to watch me do a random Bannerlord stream. Okay, so these guys are actually selling a few things at great prices, like hardwood. And hardwood is just so important, as I was talking about before. So we're just going to buy another huge load of wood. Well, we can get it at this great price. And we're going to keep the smelting going for a little bit. It feels a little weird sitting around and, you know, crafting, but, you know, this is kind of part of what the game's about. Okay, his smithing's at 12. Yeah, he's learning smithing, smithing much slower, unfortunately. And we're pretty safe staying in, in town here, too. I'm not seeing any enemy armies or anything. I'm pretty sure Makeb might be the capital here of this country. I think it is. Just want a smithing empire. You can do that. You can just start like making money by being a blacksmith, start making cool gear, selling that for a living. You could even, with your wealth, start buying workshops. You know, start a business empire, which I'd like to do at some point. I want to make some workshops in towns, kind of like you could in the old Mount Blade. Want to start hiring some caravans and stuff. There's a lot of cool shit I want to do. We're at 24 skill. It's getting good. All right. Almost out of supplies for all that. I can't keep selling the same iron here over and over. The price will go down at some point. It's passable right now though and i can still get more hardwood using my money i get from the iron to keep getting higher hardwood to keep getting skill can't do this forever though the markets are going to crash very soon if i keep doing this 